Headlining at Yoshi's was pretty exhilarating the moment I walked out and the audience began to applaud. So it started off pretty mellow, but it was only a matter of time before I began my usual stage antics. Come on, pressure. Oh, depression. Shake it, shake it. Not to worry, I did settle down at some point and stop the shenanigans long enough to sing a ballad. Despite my being the consummate professional, not everything went flawlessly. Like when my piano player didn't know the opening chord to a gospel song I was doing. You can see me blinking in disbelief right there. And uh, kind of got worse. So I just had no choice but to laugh, really. And there's a look of desperate plea to my musical director, and then a look off into space. And then I pretty much didn't know what to do, so I asked for the one opening chord. That one opening chord. That wasn't it either. Give me one second. Let me so I had to go talk to the real singers consult my uh, wonderful singers here. And back to the shenanigans. This is the part where I got to introduce my stellar musical director, Mike Shiono, who just did a excellent job with the show. He's fantastic. He's the musical director. He's put everything together today. And more dancing shenanigans, of course. I really thought I was getting down at this point in the show. At some point here, I think I kind of turned into Axl Rose. Yeah. There it is. We wrapped up the show with Wake Up Call. Here you see me doing that little fake goodbye, knowing damn well I was going to come out for an encore. We totally planned for an encore, whether you guys encored us out or not. I'm not going to try to... I'm so surprised. <laughs> no, we have one planned out, ready to go, like hit it. It was a good night at Yoshi's. <laughs>